Okay, so there's the heart, right? Now all of this white stuff just here, does anyone think they know? I want to see a hand up. Anyone think they know what the white stuff is? Daryl? Is that fat? Fat, spot on. Okay, so that's fat. Okay, so when you get, so if you, if you get overweight, if you put on too much weight, you actually get this fat, not just on the kind of like underneath your skin, fat builds up around your internal organs as well. Okay, so if you have an unhealthy diet and you eat too much fat, one of the first things it does, it can build up around your organs. Okay, so if you have all this fat, fat's really hard. Okay, it's really, really tough. Okay, yeah, I can touch this just here and it's really squidgy, this bit down the bottom, but this bit up the top, this is really hard. It's almost gristly. Okay, it's like the, the rind on your bacon. It's really, really hard. So if you've got all of that around your heart, well, your heart really struggles to pump. Okay, right, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. Right, can you see those bits on the top? Okay, so these are. It looks like a dinosaur. It doesn't look anything like a dinosaur. Okay, so the holes, can you see the holes on the top? Okay, oh, yeah. these, are, these are arteries, okay, these big holes are the way that the blood gets from the heart to the lungs or it gets from the heart to the rest of the body, okay, and inside there we have uh, the top of the heart, we have something called an atrium and at the bottom, so the top you have your atrium and at the bottom you have your ventricles, okay, so I'm going to sacrifice that pen just there, okay, so at the top you have atriums and at the bottom, you have ventricles. Right, now obviously, as I'm looking at it, this is the right-hand side, and this is the left-hand side. But if I had someone laid down here, okay, that's gonna be their left-hand side, that's gonna be their right-hand side. So that's how we label up a heart, okay? So this side is gonna be the left atrium and the left ventricle and the other side you're gonna have the right atrium and the right ventricle, okay? Anyone ever heard of the word atrium before? Okay? Yes, I've heard when Okay, where is the atrium? I don't really know. Is it at the front of the theater or somewhere near the back? Yeah, exactly, it's at the front, okay? So as you come through the front doors, you come into the atrium. So blood makes its way into your heart through the atrium, okay? So it comes into these chambers at the top, and then it passes into the ventricles, and then it goes out of the body, okay? So it starts at point A, okay? It comes in at point A. It comes in at the atrium, like an atrium of a theatre is the entrance way. Right, you can take this. This is where it gets squeamish, okay? This. Oh. Okay, so within there, so guys, you can see it up here, okay? We have the atrium, and it's like a little hallway. It's like an entrance bit up here. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. And you can, so blood makes its way into the atrium, and it comes down into the ventricles, down at the bottom. And it's there that when it pumps, it pumps out. Now, can you see, guys, that is really thick, the line of that, just there. Okay. So that is really, really thick. Okay, it's got to be thick. It's a muscle, so it's doing loads of work. It's got to be thick because it's got to pass the blood around the rest of the body. Okay. So if I cut, so that was that side. Now if I cut this side, you should notice it's a whole lot less effort to cut that open. Okay, it's a whole lot less effort, and you can see that this side is really thick, and this side's actually really thin. So that side, I can kind of. It's that much of the tweezers, okay? Not very much at all. Okay, there's some of mine just standing back there just so we don't get as much light on here. Okay, and that side, look how thick that is. That really, really thick, just there. Really, really thick. This side is so much thicker because it's got to pass the blood. So the left atrium and the left ventricle, the walls of that are really thick because it's got to pass the blood all the way around the body, okay? It takes blood in from the body and it takes blood, pushes blood back out, okay? And then this side, this is really thin and this has got to take blood just, it's got to pump it to the heart, okay? Pardon? The lungs, sorry Tom, you're right. I keep saying that, I keep getting mixed up between my lungs and my heart. Okay, so within there, 
you have these different chambers. So further down here, if I can put my finger all the way down into there, okay? So there's another sort of ventricles down the bottom there and the atrium's up the top here. And just here it's the same, okay? So there's a big, so you can see that just there. You have all these tendons though, all these tendons, they're the things that help pull the heart and as it pumps, okay? And you have these valves that are in between the atrium and the ventricle. And then we have all these, like I said, the arteries up the top, okay? So you've got your atriums at the top and your ventricles at the bottom. So that's the left-hand side, that's the right-hand side, okay? And that's it, it does smell, it stinks. It's worse, like I said earlier, it's worse in the summer. But that's why, okay, so we have that nice thick side because it's actually, you've got to pump blood all the way around the body. Right, that is...